Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a Crafty Latina and today I want to do a tutorial on the new Cricut Offset feature. Um, I know I have another tutorial on it but I want to go more in depth into the, um, things you can do with images as well. So first what I want to do is I just want to start with a text and I'm going to write, I'm going to do a dinosaur image. So I just want to write the word roar. And I'm just going to use this font, this um, Cricut font that's there already. This is a Cricut font. So I'm going to put this here. And now let's look for our image. And I'm going to do a dinosaur. I had already been searching. And this is the cutest little dinosaur that I love using. I used it for um, a cake topper before. I don't know why. He's just, I love him right here. He's just so friendly. <laughs> so I'm going to use him. And what I want is normally you can do them separately like you would do an offset for this and you would have um, this separate and then the word separately. I want to do something different. I want to do an offset of these two things together. It's like he's saying the word roar. So all you have to do is highlight the entire image and you don't have to attach. You don't have to group. You don't have to do anything. If you if you drag and highlight the two images together, just go into offset. And usually I do like for this, I want it a little thicker, like 27 is good. You already see the white border. So let me just hit apply, move that out of the way. And you can see, let me move, let me change this to like a green. And you can see the entire border is going to do it together. So even though my two images are separate, the background, my offset is going to be together, which makes it so much easier when you want to, then attach the top layers to it because now you have something to follow on the back so you can print this together like if you attach the whole thing and flatten it you can do a sticker this way with with a word and an and an image um you can make it as a cake topper you can do it as htv vinyl uh, and you can layer it so if you do this back layer on a white shirt and black or a white layer on a black shirt and then you attach these two to the top um, it's super easy to to do that. So that is one way. Now I want to show you um, if I do a word like in script. So I have a font that's my favorite on here. And it was something I uploaded from the font directly. And I'll put a link to how you can upload fonts from the font and use them in Cricut Design Space. So I'm just going to write my name. If I know how to spell my name, that would be super helpful. So there it is. I love this Amarillo font. So I want to do an offset on this. First, I want to make my name. Let me just make it. Let's make it red. My favorite color. Go into offset. Again, immediately, once it takes in, it kicks in, you'll see this white border that goes around it. Hit apply. And there it is. And you can change the border. Like that one's black, but if you want it to be white, you can go ahead and change it to white or whatever. I'm going to leave it black so that we can see um, the contrast between the two. The other thing that you see is this little white space that's right here. And I do not want that. I'm going to click on the black offset image in the back. I'm going to go into contour. And I'm going to click that little piece here, right here, that little piece, I want it to disappear. And for it to disappear, I just click on it. So if it's a darker gray, that means it's no longer going to show in your image. Anything that's in a lighter gray, that's what you're going to see. And just X out of that and it should be gone. And now that's it. You have your name that you can print out of um, any material you want, vinyl, cardstock. And then you have the offset in the back that's completely separate. If I wanted these two to come to be together, I could just flatten it. And now it is just a print and cut image, as you can see on the top. And this could be um, a sticker or I could use it for anything. I could print it on printable HTV vinyl and use it that way. And you can do the same thing with the, um, I was in my dinosaur. You can do the same thing with this dinosaur. Like if you want it, to be like for um, HTV or print and cut, just flatten it and all the layers would just become one print and cut um, image. And then you know that by when you hit make it, it's going to cut all in one image together like that. 
and it makes it so much easier sometimes if you don't want to layer or if you don't have all of the color vinyls available um you can tell that it's a print and cut because it will always have this box and these are the uh the lines that your Cricut needs to sort of to read for it to cut exactly um, your image. So I hope this was super helpful and I would love to see any projects that you do with it. So reach out if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and make sure to hit subscribe.